The times for each section are included in the video description. Track Control Panel On the right of the audio, we have the Track Control Panel. Our first option, at the bottom, is to minimise the track. Above this is the Pan Slider, which gives us the option to move audio to the left or right speaker. This is useful if you are creating a stereo track or moving audio to create an effect. We will cover how to create a stereo track from a mono track later in this tutorial. Above this, we have the gain slider, which allows you to adjust the track's level of volume through its decibel level. Lowering or heightening the volume in correspondence with other tracks can help you to level audio or to create effects. Above this, we have the option to mute the track you have selected, or to mark the track as solo, which will make this the only track to play back to you. Above these two options, we are given track information. This tells you whether the track is stereo or mono, the sample rate in hertz, and the sample format. In the top left corner, we are given the option to delete the track, and beside this, we have a drop down menu with a variety of audio track options. Audio track options. The first option available is to name the track. Naming the track will only change the name within Audacity. The track's original file name will remain unchanged. The next options allow you to adjust the positions of tracks as they appear in Audacity. You may move tracks up, down, to the top of the project window, or to the bottom of the project window. The next options refer to the way in which you view your audio in Audacity. Waveform shows your audio as a frequency, allowing you to see the chirps of your audio as they appear. The plus one on the vertical scale is the highest your audio can peak without distorting. Waveform gives a good overview of your audio's frequency. The next option is Waveform dB, which shows the amplitude of your audio following decibels on the vertical scale. Your audio will appear showing where it is highest and lowest. This option gives you a good idea of where your audio's levels are. The next option is Spectrogram. Here we can see the energy in your audio. White is the highest amount of energy, red is a moderate amount, and blue is the smallest amount of energy in your audio. Using the Spectrogram view can be useful to help you see how your audio is flowing in terms of the bursts of energy given throughout your speech. However, it is rare to use this for monitoring your voice recordings. Beneath this, we have options for spectrogram settings. I would not recommend changing any of the spectrogram settings, as you will very rarely use this view if you use it at all. The next options are in reference to stereo and mono tracks. Here, I will show you how to split a stereo track into a mono track, and then I will teach you how to create a stereo track from a mono track. Stereo and Mono Tracks Through this example, we will assume that your stereo track contains different audio channels, but first, I will explain what channels are. Your stereo track will traditionally contain two channels, a left channel and a right channel. The only time this would matter is if you musically had a different audio track in your left channel and a different audio track in your right channel. With recording flat audio for narration of voice acting, you will only play with channels if you are trying to create effects. For instance, if you are trying to create a sense of space. Like, like this. this. Speaking, Speaking from one, one side, side to the to other side. side. Creating space, space between. between. These are your left and right channels. The rest of this explanation is given, assuming that your left and right channels are different. If this information is of no use to you, please skip to the next video. So, to create a mono track, we will click on Audio Options, scroll down, and select Split Stereo to Mono. This option will split one stereo track into two mono tracks. To leave your audio as a singular mono track, delete one of the mono tracks by clicking the Close button in the top left corner of the Track Control panel. What we are left with is what you would produce by recording a track in mono. Now, we will create a stereo track from this single mono track. First, we will select the track by clicking anywhere on the track itself. Now we will click Edit and select Duplicate. 
We will turn one track into our left channel and one track into our right channel using the audio options. Go into options and select right channel for one track and left channel for the other track. The audio information will tell you which track is left and which track is right. Once we have a left and right track, we will combine them to create a stereo track. To combine the two tracks, you must select both by clicking on the first track, then hold shift and click the second track. Now go to track and select mix and render. The other options available here are swap stereo channels and split stereo track. Swap stereo channels will swap the left and right channels, while the option to split stereo track will split the left and right channels without creating mono tracks. The next option we have is format. Here you may select the sample format for your track. The options are 16, 24 or 32. These affect the quality of your tracks but will not make a huge difference if recording your voice. I would suggest leaving the sample format at 32 bit. The last option here is sample rate. Do not change the sample rate of your audio. For an explanation as to why, please watch the tutorial for Audacity The Basics. Please leave suggestions for future videos in the comments. Check out the Audacity playlist for more tutorials.